So here we are, people. Episode 8, New York Jets franchise. And this time we are here in Buffalo, New York, Orchard Park. Getting ready to take on the Buffalo Bills. And this definitely will be an interesting one. A lot of division implications on the line. Listen, man, this is a big game for Game Green. It's been a while since we tapped back in with a new episode here on the Jets franchise. So welcome back for those of y'all that have been tapping in with us. Robert Sala and the Jets looking to continue what has been a very productive season. A few tough games, a few tough moments, but we are over 500 looking to keep things going in that direction. We'll be kicking the ball to Buffalo first. Be sure to follow all the links in the bio. Like, subscribe, comment if you like what you hear and what you see. I go by the name of Biz Billy. This is BYC Gaming Media Controller. Let's set things off. So this week we're gonna try some different things. Um, we got Brees Hall getting the start at running back. I want to see how that works. Um, good week to switch things up. It's like I said, taking on Buffalo, looking to fight for the division lead. And it all starts with that man right there, Josh Allen. Somebody that uh, takes care of the ball. 19 touchdowns. Only two picks. Hopefully we can make him uncomfortable this game. All right, so they're starting out in the gun. And they are going to pass it. This one in the flats. Good tackle there by Jordan Whitehead. Going to hold that to a one-yard gain. Right, so we got Diggs. Oh, my goodness. Gabe Davis was wide open, but Allen put a little too much arm on that one. And it is going to fall incomplete. All right, I'm going to bring the try to bring the heat right here. Oh, my goodness. And there we go. It's one thing about us, man. We may not give up big plays, but we, we often give up plays that, quite frankly, that should have been a stop right there. Good double team on uh, Quentin Williams that prevented us from getting the pressure ourselves on the quarterback. A lot of passing from Buffalo early. Another one in the flat. Good tackle. That time for Sauce Gardner. This one's going to end up in a loss. You'll love to see it. So once again, they're back in a four wide receiver set. Probably out of the gun. I was looking to blitz with Source Gardner, but we'll just go ahead and watch the middle of the field with CJ Mosley. Here comes the run. Good cut by Hines. 12 yard gain is going to lead to a first down. Let's try to get some pressure on this dude. Forget all the other stuff. I got sauce this time. I ain't going to let nobody get us downfield. So we bring the heat, but they get a quick pass off. That's going to lead to a seven-yard game. It's a three-wide out set. Quick throw, Stephon Diggs throws it in. That'd be his first catch of the day. Another seven yard game. So we had Quinnen with a one on one matchup, but another quick pass from Josh Allen. He is not holding on to the ball for long. 
playing very smart early on, very conservative. This one's going to be a shot down the field. And again, just like the Gabe Davis pass, that was incomplete. Uh, Josh Allen had a man just unable to make a connection. So here we go again, third and five. We got a hole that we can limit the damage here on this drive. Here's the pass to Hamler. That one is going to be dropped. That's a big drop on third down. It's not going to be fourth down. Bass going to come on the field and look to put three points on the board. The Jets unable to get there and block the kick, and Bass makes it look easy. And you can hear the music playing throughout the speakers in Western New York as Bass now kicks it off to Randall Cobb. He's going to take a knee in the end zone. And it's now time for Aaron Rodgers to go to work. He's had an up and down season, but we're trying to replicate <laughs> what we would hope will happen if he was here on the field for my New York Jets in real life. Nonetheless, we won't get to work here. Um, let's start off with Brees out the gate because I'm starting. Hmm. Okay, um, I don't know why Dalvin, you know what, I'm not going to try to figure it out. Let's go ahead and get to this first play. Rogers close out the mic. Brees going to get the positive yardage, six-yard game. 14 carries, 81 yards, and the game-winning touchdown as a spell back against the Las Vegas Raiders. That was a big win for the Jets. Um, overtime, we had to come back. Brees Hall put the lid on that game as Dalvin Cook's going to rush forward for a first down. The Bills going to have an injury here. And their linebacker's going to head back to the locker room. So again, let's try to turn Brees loose here. Looking for the screen play. Good block in ahead of him. Good screen. Good cut. It's going to be an 11-yard game. And another first down. So I'm going to go aggressive here. Oh, we had Conklin, but miscommunication on the route. And that's going to lead to second and 10. Now I win the pistol. Roger snaps. Looks for Hall in the flat. Got him. Another good juke move. And that's going to create second and manageable for getting green. Third down is here. Rogers sends Lazard in motion. And Brees almost unable to get the first down. Nonetheless, he makes it happen. All right, so here comes Hall. All right, he gets the toss. He has room to run. And another first down for the Jets. Offense looking very good right now. Let's see if we can catch the defense off guard. Let's see, we're going to go with the play action. Rodgers now sends a man in motion. 
Conklin may have space. That's another first down for the Jets. Nearly to the end zone, but a good tackle by the Bills defender. Rodgers saw the man downfield, gets it to him. And now Sala and the Jets knocking at the doorstep of this Bills defense. Cook couldn't get much more than a yard right there. Is this four down territory? Ooh, good rush by the Bills front. And we're now at third down with still three yards to go. All right, we may be able to get him right here. All right, middle of the field just opened up. Touchdown, Gary Wilson. I saw that from a mile away. So Gary Wilson runs a great route. Rodgers makes a great throw under pressure. And he just put up the first touchdown of the game. Rodgers to Wilson. That has been the winning formula for us this season. Definitely our winning formula in our previous game against the Raiders. Able to come away with an overtime victory in Nevada. And we are now up 6-3 to three here in Buffalo. Greg the leg coming on to kick the PAT. PAT is good. 75-yard drive, nearly five minutes taken off the clock. So Aaron Rodgers in the Jets with a very, very well thought out drive. That leads to seven. And now the Jets get ready to kick the ball back to the Bills. 144 left in the first quarter. Let's see if he returns this one or keeps it in the end zone. Hines will take the knee. And here comes Buffalo back onto the field. There you see the Raiders bouncing back and help doing us a big favor, taking out Miami here in week 11. That was a big win. As far as our division is concerned, so there's a big pass dropped by Damian Harris. All right, so I finally found that play. Now I know where it's at. We got Sauce Garner's going to come in here on the blitz. Ooh, perfect time to call it. Look at that. Sauce Gardner. That was a perfect time to call the blitz. Almost like we knew what was coming the way we stopped that play. Let's go ahead and take a, take a look at the replay. Sorry, y'all. But I got to highlight the good defense when it's there. So, of course, he says Sauce is blitzing on this play, so he's got nobody covering him. And literally takes him down in the backfield. I like that. I like this as a screenshot for today's game. That might be today's cover photo for today's episode. All right, let's get back to work. Let's get back out here on this field. So that was a big play there on second down from Sauce. Now here on third down, we have a chance to send the Bills on a quick three and out. So Allen is hit as he throws. Carl Lawson applies the pressure. And the Jets with a great, great stand on first down. 
excuse me, on, on the first drive, I should say. It's not the first drive, it's the second drive. I'm a little off right now. <laughs> the second drive stalls, quick three and out. Good defense by Gang Green. Secondary making some big plays as well as the front four. And now the offense comes back onto the field, starting on their own 39. 58 ticks left in the first, and the ball's handed off to Hall. Hall definitely doing a great job here in his first start of the 2023 season. We've been going with Dalvin Cook all year. Definitely felt intrigued to start Hall this week. This will probably be the last play. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad that was just a drop and not a fumble. So I was probably going to be the last play I was going to run. But now with the incompletion, we'll go ahead and make an attempt at getting this first down. All we need is one yard. Hall moves ahead, keeps his legs churning. That's right, so another first down for Hall and the Jets. Brees Lightning now creeping closer to 50 yards in the first quarter, but it'll probably stop there. Once again, we are up 7-3. to three. Very good play calling, very balanced play calling. Jets with the lead. So let's get back out here and do more of the same here in this second quarter. All right, let's start the second quarter off, right? First and 10 on our own 48. I don't like our, oh, I didn't want him to take that much of a hit, but uh, I definitely did not want to throw that pass to uh, Garrett Wilson there. There was a lot of traffic near him, and I did not want to throw that pass there so we scramble with Rodgers for three yard game this is an interesting play right here all right Wilson has space and it might be pass interference on that but he still makes the catch let's see what the call is so roughing the passer is going to be added on to Leonard Floyd So that's a big penalty for Buffalo now as we are now comfortably in the red zone. First and 10 here with just over nine minutes left on the clock. Here's the delay. It's going to go to Dalvin Cook. He's going to pick up five. So the Jets once again... Back in scoring territory. Let's see what we cook up here for second and five. Here's the play action. Got some options. Didn't want to force anything. Whoa. Uh, miscommunication there. And we're not able to have a chance at a first right there. There's a key, 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 key down right here. Third down, Jets looking an inch closer to the goal line, but Brees Hall unable to get the first run, first down. The coaches are telling me to go for it, but I'm going to take the points here. Zerline comes out on the field, kicks the field goal right on through the uprights. Scores now 10-3. I mean, I had a chance to definitely be aggressive and try to go up by a bigger amount by going for a touchdown right there. Or just, just not even, maybe not even just a touchdown, but 
potentially the first down with it being third and short. But we're playing Buffalo in Buffalo. We're playing for the division lead. Let's just go ahead and take the points. That's been a problem with me and Madden over the years, being a little too aggressive. Right there, I'm just going to take the points and go ahead by a full touchdown. So here comes Hines now. He's going to take a knee. Third touchback of the game for Greg Zerline is now Jared Allen and the Bills with the step onto the field. Make something happen here. All right, so here we go. Ooh. Screen to Stephon Diggs. There you see, I had a uh, DJ Reed right there, and I definitely, I, I, I knew some of the other guys would catch up to him. I was not going to let him get ahead, get behind me. So, there you see, we, we try to be smart right there. I'm going to have to control sauce on this one, just in case they're passing. And that they are. So I brought the full-on blitz right there, but a great, great pass by Josh Allen negates the blitz. I think they're going to run right here. Another screen. This time to Gabe Davis. Big tackle by CJ Mosley. I'm sorry. I got to see that again. That might be a good screenshot as well. Look at the tackle by C.J. Bosley on display. I mean, he takes him way off the ground. <laughs> Look at that. That is a tackle right there, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe Davis airborne on a hit from Mosley. That's good football right there. All right. Let's get back to work. It's now second and nine. Carl Lawson has had success. I guess number 73. Let's see if we can get the blitz here. Oh, I got around the corner right there and would have had a chance if I wasn't so aggressive. So here we go, y'all. Third down. Definitely don't want to give up. Anything short. Great play by Reed. And the Jets. Do it again. Get another stop on the Buffalo Bills. We couldn't do this in week one at home in that primetime game, but definitely proud of the way this team has come out here in the first half. Brees Hall with almost seven yards per carry today. He has been outstanding. And we're going to create a play for him right here out the gate. Time for the screen. And look at that. Aaron Rodgers took way too long to get rid of that ball. Is he hurt? I mean, I threw that ball a long time ago. That animation did me no favors. So the animation causes us to have a safety there. And just like that, man, things can easily change on this drive. 10-5 game now. You don't see that score too often. In the NFL. All right, good tackle there by almost, but it's a six yard game for Harris. So we definitely got to remain aggressive with the play calling. I'm not going to get too crazy, but. We don't want these guys to get a rhythm, get comfortable, anything of that nature, and boom, right on cue. The Pro Bowl receiver, Stephon Diggs, makes a catch and a run. 
Let's try to get them back to a point where they can only create things underneath. A lot of movement going on here. Oh, we almost had a big play there from Reed. Reed stepped up for the pick, but that's a great job by Hamler. His second catch of the day. Again, I'm trying to find Sauce. All right, I got him. Oh, Gabe Davis. Her footsteps. All right, we need all hands on deck on this one. There it is. And the hands of Bryce Hall makes a big interception at a key moment right there. And somebody's hurt on the play. It's actually Hall who made the interception. So he makes the pick, then leaves the game with an injury. Wow. Crucial, crucial play. And the Jets, although we give up the safety on our last offensive play, we somehow come away with a pick on the previous drive. We lose Brees Hall, as you did, as you saw there, abdominal tear. I don't know why he was holding his wrist on the way to the, uh, the locker room, but he's gone. Here's Garrett Wilson. Had a chance to make the catch right there. Play broken up by Jackson. And now the Jets in danger of a three and out here. As it's now third and nine. They're in the gun. And all of a sudden, this Bills pass rush is starting to wake up. That's two big sacks on back-to-back -back drives now. So the Jets with a three and out. And now the Bills getting the ball back. Hines doing a lot of work today. Carrying. He's also playing on special teams. Harris is on the field now here for this play as the Bills look to capitalize on the Jets three and out. There's a big tackle by C.J. Mosley to prevent a bigger game from Damian Harris. CJ has been making some big some big plays this season. There's Gabe with a catch in double coverage. Gardner makes the tackle along with Michael Carter. And here's a two-minute warning among, amongst us. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, man. really don't know what to call here. We've had success with this play, so I'm going to go with it again. It's a risky time to call it, but here we go. Sauce coming on the blitz. And it's going to work as Quincy Williams puts a big hit. On Hamler, and there's no play to be made for the Bills here on that play. McCole Harbin is going to drop back. He's going to be receiving this punt. Here's the kick. All right, so Harbin brings that one in. So we're going to take a shot right here with McCall Hardman. Keep an eye on him on that right side of the field. All right, Hardman may not be there, but we had a chance at Lazard. Man. I probably should have set my feet to make that throw. We may have had a chance there. Let's take another shot. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did not 
throw that pass the way I was about to originally. All right, so we're once again with our back against the wall with another three and out looming. I have to put something together right here. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have much going through the air. This is the time to wake up, though. Third down. Oh, man, this is going to be a pick. Oh! I nearly caught that, bro. So, McCall Hartman unable to bring that one in. Moore says he's going to come back in the game to punt. Hines returns it to the 43. All right. Need the defense to come through one more time. Offense couldn't get anything going there. Big tackle by C.J. Mosley again. Bills move the ball. Allen's going to overthrow his receiver there. It's now second down. There's a big tackle from Mosley. All right, so there's another catch, but this one's going to lead to a first down, and he gets out of bounds. So we need to maintain this defensive effort that we've put forth so far. We don't want to give up points right before the half. We do get the ball at the half, but I don't want to give up any points here to Buffalo at all, even if just three. Oh, wow. So the screen there. Buffalo's going to take a timeout. I've been trying to get pressure on Allen all day, but he's getting rid of the ball quickly. Oh, what a play action. Now we're unable to make the... Wow, that is a great play action right there. I don't know how I got fooled by that one. I'm talking about everyone got frozen on that one. CJ Mosley started blitzing. He wasn't in his usual position. Then the corners are out of place because they were expecting a run. That is great play calling by Buffalo. And just like that, it is a two-point lead for the Bills as they turn a very poor two. The last two possessions for the Jets have turned into Bills points. The safety and then the quick three and out. The short field position. And wait a minute. We may have something going here. As Randall Cobb nearly able to turn that into something. So we got 15 seconds left in the half. Rogers back to throw. Oh, Rogers got McCole Harmon wide open downfield. Touchdown, Jets. That is how you do it. So the offensive line gives Aaron Rodgers so much time in the pocket that I'm able to just throw a beautifully thrown pass right there. There's no doubt about that one. And the Jet Jets into the end zone for another Jets TD. Um, a, a f extra point makes it a seven-point game. And if I kick a field goal later, I'll make it a full eight. So let's go ahead and take the field goal. Zerline kick is up. And it is now 17 to 12. You've got to love it. That was an amazing play 
wide open, nothing but space in front of him. He basically could have walked in the end zone. And now the Jets back up. Oh, good return. Wait a minute. He was not supposed to catch it like that. <laughs> so they'll probably take one more shot here. We'll play prevent, three-man deep. I'm going to take control of sauce. I'm going to go ahead and head downfield. There's a pass to Gabe Davis. Good game. It's not going to matter, though. Clock is going to strike zero, and we are now heading into the half. Up. I thought we were going to be going down, you know, going in down, but Rodgers makes a big play. The Jets get seven before the half. And here we are looking at the halftime report. All right, so let's just go ahead and break it down. Let's see what's going on going down around the nation. Miami, as we said, took a loss to the Raiders. That's big for us. As you see, the Dolphins now move to five and five. We move comfortably ahead of them with a win today. And hopefully we move in the first place with this game against Buffalo. Out in the NFC, the Niners and Tampa Bay, they're having a solid game. Buccaneers are up somehow leading that one, looking at an upset. The Seahawks and the Rams got a division game going. Seahawks looking to move to 500. Rams looking to salvage their season. They're 2-7 on the year. Cooper Cup with four catches for 73 yards up to this point. But again, man, Aaron Rodgers, look how much time he had in the pocket right here able to just take his time fling one up there and once you know it wide open downfield is McCole Hardman so you gotta love it making some good things happen um we're gonna run the ball for the rest of the game and we're gonna defend the medium pass all right so we're coming out for the half we're up by five we're playing good football this has been a great, great game for the Jets. Outside of the safety, um, been pretty, pretty good on offense. Can't really complain about anything offensively. I think those sacks happened because of us trying to get some points before the half. So hopefully we can attribute it to that. And we can move on in this game and Continue to apply pressure to the division leading Buffalo Bills. And we are underway here from Orchard Park. Oh man, we can't. I mean, I thought I had a chance to get that one off. That's a great play by the defender there. I definitely thought I had a chance to get that pass off. I, I probably should have taken maybe one more step in that drop back. All right, now, second down, good block. Brees, oh, uh, I almost want to look at the replay, but I won't because it's probably going to be some Madden foolishness that just happened right there. Looked like a little bit of a weird animation, but nonetheless, the tackle is made. It's now third and nine, and Rodgers going to step back. Look for the throw. More pressure. More pressure. Von Miller, I mean, we 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 had an open receiver twice on that drive, and because of the pass rush, we are unable to get anything going there and another three and out. So the Bills' pass rush has kept them in this game. And I'm going to be honest with you. This next drive coming up, I'm definitely going to focus on a uh, short pass plays. Oh, big hit there. 31 passes on the day for Josh Allen. It's, it's interesting that they haven't really committed to the run. I guess the one thing we struggle with in a sense. But they have not run the ball much in this game. Speaking of runs, here comes one from Josh Allen. He's going to fumble it, but it's going to be recovered by Gabe Davis, who was nearby. So the scramble nets 
some decent yardage despite the fumble. As they're getting closer to the 50-yard line. Another quick pass from Allen. Diggs doing what he does best, bringing in the recession for the first down. Another quick pass. This time it's to Knox. Let's right, see if we can bring some heat here. The heat was there, but I mean, Josh Allen is just stepping back and making great passes. It's like literally two step drops and fire. And even there, I had some good pressure in his face, not able to do anything. So we're going to drop everybody in the coverage, try to blitz the front four here. Even that doesn't work, but thankfully it's a short game. Second and six here now for the Bills. Let's try a different look. Let's try to send Sauce on the Blitz. So we get ooh, ooh, we get the hit on Allen. CJ Mosley makes another big play. I'm actually surprised there was no flag on that play. Let's see what happened here. So Sauce going to go for the Blitz here. He's untouched as okay so that so he he dove trying to, i should have if i was going to dive should have definitely jumped a little sooner i thought that was going to be a tackle attempt all right so third down six yards to go i'm not expecting a run here but i'll i'll remain at cj mosley just in case they do decide to run the ball it's going to be a pass right here oh my goodness I moved over one inch. I moved over, and that was it. Khalil Shakir, that was, a, that was a great pass. He waited for me to move. I moved, and he made a great pass. And I'm an idiot because I called a field goal block, and that's not going to help us right here. Oh, I called a field goal block. Oh. So that's a user mistake. Can't blame the defense for that. Oh, man. So great pass by Josh Allen. Man, that is a perfect example of playing against the Bills, man. You feel like you're in the driver's seat one minute. And just like that, they are up with the momentum in their favor. This Jets offense hasn't had much going. Oh, my goodness. Hasn't had much going. I'm going to be honest with you. This defense has been getting more and more and more aggressive as time has gone on. Look at this. Oh, what a broken tackle by Hall. I thought that play was blown up. But Hall somehow makes it out of that with positive yardage. That's a big play. Hall paying dividends as the starter here early on. Conklin holds on to the ball. You got to hold on to the ball. Oh, man. So we go from what should have been a clear first down to a drop pass, and now we're sitting here at third and nine, another long third down situation. But we've got our man Garrett Wilson with a big catch. 
on third down to keep this Jets drive alive. So we definitely got to loosen this defense up because they were stacking the box and now we're going to have to get more creative with the play call and as Dalvin Cook picks up a big gain there on first down as he will pick up a first down on first down for the Jets. Brees now back onto the field. Jets in the pistol. What is Garrett Wilson doing, man? He There was no reason for him to stop right there. Thankfully, he's able to bring that catch in. That was almost very dangerous. You cannot throw a pass like that when uh, Tredavious White is near. Here's Brees. Caught a little audible there. He was running right, right alongside his fullback right there. And that's going to help us pick up eight yards there. Rodgers back under center. He hands it off to Hall. Hall picks up the first down. This defense has done a good job on us here in the second half. But here we are in the red zone for the first time here in the second period. Excuse me, the third period. Here's the pass to Bowden. Oh, big tackle there. Not much of anywhere to go. Okay, here's a tough catch, but it's made. Third down here, four yards to go. Here's the draw play, handed off to Brees. Brees is gonna take it into the end zone. Let's go, so that's a big play. Brees Hall on his first start of the season is absolutely cooking. The Jets now flexing on the Bills as we regain the lead on the touchdown from Hall. That was a great third down call there. Hall with the draw play. I like that call. Greg the leg now back out for another extra point. And this one is going to be good. 78 yard drive, 12 plays, taking a good chunk of clock off the third period. And now Morstead with the kick. And Buffalo's going to have the ball here with just over a minute left in the third period. So this has been a lot of passing early on for this Bills team. And there's another successful play. First down. And it's not even like they're attacking one part of the field. They are throwing the ball everywhere. Now Hamler is starting to pick up. He is starting to heat up. Eight catches for 74 yards for Hamler. And there's Damian Harris with a solid gain. On first down, it's probably going to be the last play. So we are headed now into the fourth, y'all, with the Jets hanging on to a lead. You see, we we shut down the run, but we can't do anything with the pass games with them. And they shut down us at different points of the game, but for the most part, we have been able to put points on the board when we need them. Second and three now here for the Bills. 
as we now got some sun creeping into the stadium. Week 11, this is fall football. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what Josh Allen was thinking, but Sherwood is surely going to try to take it to the house. Josh Allen makes a big mistake, and just like that, the New York Jets are looking at a two-score lead. Sherwood read that play, and he's taking it all the way to the house. Wow. Just like that, Gang Green is in the money. So we now have an 11 point lead here. A lot of football left. Not over by any means, but we are fully in the driver's seat that you see on the bottom of the screen. The 49ers have taken control of that game in Santa Clara against Tampa Bay. But what a big play by the Jets defense. Jets defense with another big pick. We force a fumble on the day. Some big plays have been made by this Jets defense and I just got spun out of the screen there. Nice move by Hines. So Josh Allen has been the reason that the Bills have been in this game, but he's also the reason they're down. Two big picks. He's only had two interceptions coming into the game on the season, and he has already thrown two in this game, similar to what we did against Pat Mahomes in our matchup against the Chiefs. But we were unable to win that game. Hopefully things will be different here. Again, the Bills not really trusting their ground game. And hopefully we can continue to have a good day against them on the ground. As you see, they, they hand it to Harris there, but no gain. They lose one. Big play by Carl Lawson there. Second and 11 now. Buffalo starting to run out of time. They need points. There you see the screen. Nice stiff arm, but he's going to be out of bounds. Mosley's going to match up here with Gabe Davis. We're going to have to watch that matchup. Instead of that matchup, it's Hines who makes a quick catch in the backfield he's banged up something's going on with his leg he's gonna slowly walk to the locker room so Hines has like I said he's been doing a lot for them he's he's been getting a lot of the carries on offense he's got some receptions speaking of receptions there's Gabe Davis but uh Hines got the receptions the return yardage He's been doing a lot for this team today, but he's on the sideline now. Damian Harris is going to take over at back. Here's Jordan Whitehead now creeping up on a come up. Oh, they faked the run. They're going to give it to Allen here. Allen's going to pick up second and in inches yardage there. So they come out in the eye formation. You almost got to expect a run right here. Oh, they don't run it, and they're going to pay for it. Quentin Williams gets his first sack of the day. Allen's banged up. He's going to be okay. But that's a big play by the Jets' defense. And by the looks of things, third down is looming. There's a pass one-on-one. -on -one. Sauce Gardner, come on. You know what he does. Sauce Gardner does work. So the Bills are going to have to settle for a field goal here. Ooh, almost ran into the kicker there. Thankfully, we're able to hold up. Wow, nearly ran into the kicker right there. So 31-23.
Now Cobb's going to get a chance to return this kick. He'll bring it to the 24. All right, this is definitely the biggest drive of the game so far for the Jets. They're going to have to do everything in their power to keep this ball moving forward, keep that clock ticking, and that's not how you're going to start. <laughs> that's not how you want to start. Good tackle by Milano. Okay, here comes a play action here. Hall going to get another chance to get some positive yardage. This time it's only going to be worth a single yard. All right, so we got 12 yards to go if we want a first down. I uh, tried to get him to jump off sides. Instead, one of our guys does that instead. So I'm going to send Hardman deep. And then... We'll send Gary Wilson over the middle. Here comes Rodgers now on the third down play. I, I probably should have thrown at the Conklin a lot sooner. Oh, he nearly caught that. All right, so not a good drive there for the Jets. Let's hope for a good punt instead from Morstead. I probably should have ran that on the last play, but we, won't, we definitely wanted to try to at least have a shot at uh, potentially getting a first down but Stephon Diggs is now the return man he calls for the fair catch and now the Bills with very very good field position to start things off Dawson Knox able to bring in the reception so now we're really going to have to hope that we can hold them down because look Think about the fact that I called the wrong play on that two-point conversion, and they were able to get a two-point conversion pretty much easily. You have to hope they have a different result this time if they do get a touchdown. We're going to try to keep them out of the end zone. They pick up another first down there. I can almost guarantee they're gonna. this is, is going to be the most running plays we've seen them run all game on this drive. Pick. I saw that one. <laughs> saw his Gardner making it look very easy. And he's going to be tackled out of bounds. And that's going to be game. That's got to be game, right? Do he want a flag? Like, what is he crying about? <laughs> Uh, what are they? What was he crying about? I mean, that's he threw the ball right to Sauce. Big play by Gardner, and now the Jets gonna pretty much try to run some more clock here. All right, so we got third. No, excuse me, three minutes left. First and ten. Let's see if we can put this thing away. Dalvin Cook with a big run on first down. And that's how you get things started. Um, let's go ahead and change the tempo. We're going to chew clock here for the rest of the game. Rogers sends a man in motion. Here's Hall. Runs forward, picks up another first down. 
And this crowd starting to get quiet here in Buffalo because they already know the vibes. Two minute warning has now hit. 31 23 is the score. Jets looking to hold on for 120 seconds. If you can pull this victory off. There's the first time out. Bills now with two remaining. This is the play that got us a touchdown earlier. Hall with the draw. Not much room to run. Good job defending there. Now I want to see what the defense comes out with. There's a lot of defenders in the area. This is a risky play to pass it right here with so much time left on the clock. So let's go ahead and see can we get the first down draw play. There's Cook. Good decision by Salah. Now I think that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Buffalo with no more timeouts. Let's get this clock going. We'll run the ball with Hall. So we can now... We're going to bring in... Uh, Dalvin Cook for this carry. So I don't know why Aaron Rodgers did not snap that ball. But big penalty there. All right, so now a longer field to work with for the Jets, but that doesn't seem to matter for Cook as he picks up a big game. You can go ahead and kneel here. And this, after this one, it will take us to the end of the game. This was a big win. This was a huge win. This was big. And wow, you see Tampa Bay has taken the lead over San Francisco. Now I can be real petty and take a field goal right here. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and take this win and be happy with it. So the Jets get it done in Buffalo. Absolutely stellar performance by the defense. Y'all saw I took some screenshots of uh, some plays made by CJ Mosley and Sauce. Hey, they, they're, they're the highlight for this week, man. They they showed up against Josh Allen. Josh Allen still did what Josh Allen does. You know what I'm saying? 300 plus yards through the air, but the turnovers were the difference. Pick from Sauce, amongst others. Let's look at, the, let's look at some of the statistics. Before we just go ahead and shut things down, they see 316 passing yards for Josh Allen, 187, 187 for Aaron Rodgers, but he also had two touchdowns. Brees Hall with 61 yards, just look a little more detailed. 34 for 49 for Allen, so he had the volume, but three picks, man. And his longest pass is only 33 yards. We didn't get anything. We didn't get beat down the field by the Bills today. That probably helped us with this victory, too. No turnovers for Rodgers. That was big. His longest pass, of course, 68 yards to McCole Harmon. That was a big play. As far as rushing is concerned, 16 carries for Brees Hall, 61 yards. Dalvin Cook was solid. Eight carries, 48 yards. Nothing on the ground. Their biggest carry, their biggest rusher, as far as Buffalo is concerned, was Josh Allen with his two carries for 22 yards. Hamler, he was going ham. But their best receiver yards-wise, Gabe Davis. 
Um, as far as us, McCole Harmon, yeah, you see it, 68 yards at one catch. Uh, Garrett Wilson, four catches, 48 yards. wasn't wasn't the bit the best day through the air for either one of the, of the teams, but we did enough to win. Okay, you see some of the tackle leaders. Quentin Williams had a big sack on the day. Only sack of the day for the Jets. Uh, picks. Sherwood, he brought one to the house. That was a big play. Bryce Hall, he had his pick. And Sauce Gardner, of course, closing the door on this Buffalo team. We appreciate everybody for tapping in. With all of us here at BYC Gaming, let's just take a look at that catch one more time. Can we see that again? Where is that catch by McCall Hartman? That was well worth the watch. I don't see it up here. It should be up here somewhere, but we'll end it with, with Sauce's saucy play. Sauce making things happen. We appreciate everybody for tapping in with BYC Gaming. We'll be back very soon. I go by the name of Biz Billa. We gone. We out of here.